Alright guys, day two now, concentric body weight. What we're going to do today, start off with those plyometrics. What we're going to start off with is our seated squat jumps. So I'm going to have a seat. What you want to make sure is that our hips are above our knees. We don't want to be sitting below. All right? We want to make sure our hips stay right above our knees and we're going to jump up as high as we can. So from this seated position, we're going to use our arms, drive our arms up as we jump up. And we're going to do five or three jumps as high as we can from that seated position. Stick the landing, reset, sit back down, jump up as high as you can, stick the landing, sit back down one more, jump up, stick the landing, all right? Reset each time, all right? We're trying to go from a dead stop position and explode out. So we got three jumps from the seated squat jumps, all right? Then you're gonna grab your, if you have a med ball, grab your med ball. Otherwise, trust your water bottle with some weight, all right, filled up. Alternating fake holster throws. So pulling it back, throwing it forward, and stopping it right out in front. So we're gonna pull this water bottle back, alternate sides, stop that med ball, or your water bottle, right out in front. Pull it back, the hips go back, we push our hips through, each time, all right? It's rapid fire, so that means as soon as you get it out, pull it back, go to the other side. Alternating sides, we got eight total, right? Left is one, so eight on each side. Alternating fake holster throws. Actually, I think I need this too. And then our last one of our plyos is our split stance chop. So pulling that down, bringing it back up. So, Whatever foot is forward, we're gonna go across that forward leg and then back up. Start over our head, arms stay straight, pull this down, pull it back up, rapid fire. Eight on each side. Six, seven, eight. All right, then you switch sides, same thing. As fast as you can on each side, okay? Pull it down, push it back up. You don't need anything heavier than like a two and a half to five pound weight. Anything heavier than that, you're gonna get slower. And I don't want you to go slow, I want you to go fast. So one more time, seated squat jumps. Jump up as high as you can, stick the landing. Don't land back down onto your chair, your box, whatever you're landing on. Land in that landing position, and then sit back down. Three reps there. Your med ball or your water bottle, whatever you got. Alternating holster throws, eight on each side. And then split stance chops, rapid fire, eight on each side, repeat all that two times. Take a good minute break probably in between each exercise as you go through. And now we're gonna get into our supersets. So we got three supersets coming up. All right guys, so our first superset, we're gonna go feet elevated, bench dips. Now again, if feet elevated is too challenging, that's fine, put your feet on the ground. I'm gonna go through both here, but we got three sets of eight reps. Week one is going to be eight reps. Week two is going to be 10 reps. So feet elevated. I'm just going to move my box in here just a little bit more. Elbows track back. Back stays flush to whatever object I'm doing, a chair, whatever it is. All right. We go down and we come back up for eight reps. Elbows track back. My chest stays up. I'm not letting my hips go forward as I go down. My hips go straight down and I drive up. Okay. Eight reps. If Feet elevated is too challenging. That's fine. Back stays flat. Feet stay straight is the hardest. Knees bent, easier. Feet closer, even easier. So you figure out what you can do for your eight reps. Three sets of eight, three sets of 10 for week two. Then you're gonna grab your water bottle again and we're gonna go a split squat chop. Now our chop is gonna be fast down in our plyos, we went down and up fast. Now we're just going to chop across that leg, but we're going to bring it up with control. So we're going to be here, but we're going to be in a split squat position. So we're going to lower that leg down, start overhead, pull down, recover up, pull down, recover up. Fast down, easy up. Two, two and a half pound weight, towel, whatever you got, pull it down across that front leg in that split squat position. All right. Eight on the right side, eight on the left side. So again, 
Feet elevated bench dips or regular bench dips. Three times eight, week one. Three times eight, week two. Or three times 10, week two. Then you're gonna go into your split squat chops, all right? Two times eight on each side. Second series, towel pull-ups. Set those guys away. So we've been doing a lot of towel rows. We're gonna change a couple times now into towel pull-ups. The towel pull-up we've done before, we're gonna sit low, pull ourselves up, and use our legs as little as possible. I'm gonna demonstrate here. I'm gonna sit down. All right. I'm gonna pull myself up, bring myself back down, using as little of my legs as possible. Notice how I'm kind of up on my toes. I'm up on my toes so I'm not pushing through the ground. I don't wanna push through the ground with my feet. I'm gonna pull myself up, pull my elbows down towards the ground just like I'm doing a pull up. I'll give you a couple more here. So we're here. Pull up, back down. All right. Try and stay on those toes to kind of take that weight out of the legs. If you need it, use it. If you don't need it, try not to push through the legs. Make it as challenging as possible. Three rounds of eight, week one. Three rounds of 10, week two. And then we've got our extended plank walks in between. So we're gonna be in a high plank position, walk our hands out, walk it back. I'll demonstrate and I'll go over some things I want to think about. So we're here, walk our hands out as far as you can, and then walk yourself back in. Couple key things. Number one, my hips never go lower than my shoulders. Okay? So even as I walk out, my hips aren't dropping. I want that core tucked under, shoulders on top of the hands to start. Keep that kind of hollow body position, walk it out. As soon as I start to feel my hips start to sink, or I start to feel my stomach start to extend, stop, come back. Don't even get to that point. So again, walk it out. Everything stays nice and tight as far as we can. And then we walk it back to that plank position. You're gonna do five reps there, all right? Pull-ups, three times eight. Walk-outs, two times five. Second week, three times 10. Two times five. Last exercise, the last series here, our superset. We have our kickstand squat. So my back toe is up, squat down on my front leg. All right, all that weight should be on my front leg. So I'm here, all right. This back leg, it's kind of along for the ride. All right, it's just there to kind of help more with balance and stability. Kickstand squats, three times eight. On the right leg, three times eight on the left leg. Then we're going single leg RDLs. If you want to grab your water bottle, you can. So we're here, one second down, fire up. One second down, fire up. If you don't want to use a water bottle, you can do your reach, reach out, fire up. You don't have to bring the leg up. If you want, reach and just fire up, putting the foot back down. All right, should feel that hamstring, keep that knee on top of that ankle as my hips go back. All right, and then fire up. Hinge, fire up. Three times eight, on the right, right leg and left leg, second week, three times 10. So one more time, kickstand squats, right and left, three times eight, single leg RDLs, right and left, three times eight, Take at least 60 seconds break in between these two exercises. And then week two, three times 10, three times 10. For our conditioning today, we got aerobic threshold. Now there's gonna be a little bit of explanation here. So please, please, please pay attention. Our aerobic threshold, or sorry, yeah, aerobic threshold is gonna be a minute and 30 of work, going as hard as you can, but only nasal breathing. So only breathing in and out your nose. Do not breathe out of your mouth. If you feel like you gotta breathe out of your mouth, don't. Keep your mouth closed and slow down, all right? Don't start this off going all out as hard as you can go, all right? You're gonna run out of breathing or you're, you're gonna feel like you're gonna start to hyperventilate by just only breathing in and out your nose. Start off at a moderate pace, 
you're going to notice it's going to get harder and harder just only breathing in and out of your nose. All right? So push yourself through that minute and 30 only nasal breathing. As soon as you feel like you got to breathe out of your mouth, as I said, don't. Slow down, keep breathing until you get under control with your nose. After that, what I would recommend, after your minute and 30, take three what are called dumps. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Do that three times, and then go back into your nasal breathing. All right? That'll hopefully start to help start bringing our heart rate down. We go back into our nasal breathing. Your rest is whatever or however long it takes for you to get three breaths in through your nose, or sorry, three seconds in, three seconds out, seven consecutive times. As soon as you can breathe in your nose for three seconds, out your nose for three seconds, seven times, you're ready to go. Start it up again, another minute 30. Get after it, nasal breathing only. Rest, three dumps, again. Rest until you can get three inhales, three exhales, three second inhale, three second exhale, seven consecutive times. Record, a couple things to record, all right? If you can record distance, great. If you're out running or you're out biking, don't worry about it, all right, during that minute and a half, okay? But if you're on a, an elliptical, you're on a treadmill, you're on a, a, a recumbent bike or something like that, you can track your distance, great. Track how long it takes you to recover, all right? From when you stop to when you start back up again. How long does it take you to get three seconds in, three seconds out, seven consecutive times? All right? And see if that improves. It doesn't improve through the sets. Does it improve the following week? So week one, we do that four times. Week two, we repeat that six times. Minute and a half, nasal breathing only. Three dumps after you're done, after a minute and a half. And then rest until you can get seven consecutive three second inhales three second exhales. If you have questions, email us info at functionalstrength.com or message us through Team Builder. All right. We'll make sure you get on track or whatever question you have. We'll make sure we'll get back to you when you answer those questions. Thanks for joining me for day two. Look forward to seeing you on day three. Thanks a lot, guys.